Brill saw the capital of North Wales on a particularly wet and windy morning in July. Hi, my name's Anthony Parry and I own and operate the Angling Charter vessel Jensen out of Rill in North Wales. Jensen is a fully equipped offshore 105 kitted out with a wide range of quality fishing tackle provided under a sponsorship arrangement with Abu Garcia. Rill is essentially a spring and summer venue offering everything from offshore wrecking to inshore smooth hound fishing with a range of other opportunities in between. But first things first, to get the best out of any day you need quality bay so half an hour spent feathering up some mackerel should be seen as an investment rather than a chore. And enough for the rubby dubby too. That's the rubby dubby going over. Okay lads, when you're ready. Well today we're supposed to be soap fishing. As yet, nothing's happening. We've got the right size, the right size tide for it. We've got the right time of year. We've got plenty of rubby dubby down on the anchor. We've got plenty of fresh mackerel down for bait. We've also got a few small rods out scratching the bottom for other fish. We've had a few plates. We've had a few uh, dabs. Got some nice gurnards. Beautiful looking fish, as you can see here. Nice bright blue fins on them. Really nice fish. This one's about three pound in weight. Uh, we've had a few dogfish, white in, as yet no tow. But like I say, we've got the right time of year, so we can just sit out and wait. We'll just show you a couple of different ways of baiting up the tow. The simplest way, small joey mackerel. Take the hook through the bottom jaw, out through the head. You can put a couple of slits down the flanks, let the blood ooze out if you want, but that's fine, that's good enough. Uh, that's one way. Now, right, so we're using mono traces of about 150 to 170 pound breaking strain. Reason for this, if I have to grab hold of it round my hand like that, if it's wire, it's very sharp and it can cut into my hand. Mono's a bit more gentle, I can grab hold of it better. Now another way of baiting up, we've already shown you one. Again we've got a mackerel. Take the tail piece off, put the hook straight down where you've taken the tail off. Bring it out, the hook pointing towards the head again, back in the hole where the lines come out, same again, just like darning your stocks, bring it out just by the dorsal fin there, just by the front of the dorsal fin and just ease the line back, the hook stands up on top of the fish. A lot of times, the will grab the fish and they'll hit it from the top like that. The hook's there in the right place. On a boat this size, it isn't always easy to lean over the side to tail a fish, so Tony favours a purpose-built landing net made by stainless steel Steve Batchelor. Rod out, rod out. Well done, Brian. But he also favours is a weighing sling to minimise damage to the fish. Just slide the top in and hook the handles onto the scale. Thirty-one pound five. It's uh, it's a male fish. You can tell by the class of it here. Female just looks like that. Thirty-one pound five ounces. That one. Put it back. Yeah. Launch them head first and they go down. Another way, we've got a slightly larger mackerel this time. Set the tail off. Cut it in half on an angle. So we've got two pieces now. 
both clips on an angle like that. So head end, as before, do the jaws. If you want, you can make a small flap out of that by just cutting up there. There's no need to do this, some people prefer it. Just a small flap a piece. Take that bone out there. So you've got two little pieces flapping. And then the final one. Same as before, where the tail's been taken off. Straight down as deep as you can. And out with a hook. Again, if you, could, if you wish, you can flapper that piece. One reason why we don't flap them too much is it attracts a lot of dogfish with the loose bits flapping around, they're very easy meat to chew on. So I, I tend to leave them whole like that. There's four different ways of baiting up. Now, we'll just show you how to uh, set the reel. We've shown you how to bait up. There's a cone end piece going over. Dropped it at the back of the boat so there's a little bit of a uh, stop bit so we just let it run the tide. This is an Abu 7000, very easy to work with. Come on the spool, push the button in, release the spool, just let it run down to the bottom. Very, very slight bit of tension on the spool to stop it overrunning. We've hit the bottom, we've got ourselves a bit of slack line now. Turn the handle, that engages the reel. This funny star shaped thing on the side is called your drag. We turn that anti clockwise, and that slackens the spool off. We want this fairly slack, so that it's strong enough to stop the tide taking it, but slack enough for the fish to take it. On the other side, we've got the ratchet. We engage that. We've got a nice click. We then put the rod down and leave it. When a fish takes it, that should go screaming off. Right, we've got a fish just run up here now, it's just stopped. So what Rob's going to do now, he's going to check the reel. If you want to engage with that, just tighten the clutch up. So just tighten the clutch up now. He wants enough tension on it. He wants enough tension on it to bring the fish in. But also so the fish can have some line. So just tighten that up now. He's knocking the ratchet off. He's going to wait for the fish to hit him again, then he's going to strike into it. Yeah. Yeah. Now what's happening now, you can see it, the fish is on, and as Rob's winding, it's actually taking line out. You'll see the level wind stop when the fish pulls. See the level wind stop briefly there, that's the fish pulling. The idea is, it stops and takes the line. It's supposed to be in the middle of summer, though you wouldn't think so from the wind noise on the microphone and the rain affecting the camera lens. Early summer in particular is a good time for the bigger female fish at rill, and by big, that can mean near record proportions. My personal best soap came in 18 foot of water, weighing in at 71 pound 5 ounces. And I've seen one taken in a commercial gill net, weighing in at 93 pounds. Later on in the season, around mid to late August, early September, we get a second run of smaller pack tow. These fish normally average around 10 to 12 pounds, with the odd fish going to 20, maybe to 30 pounds. By mid September, the tow have almost gone. Late October, early November, we're looking at running up to the River Mersey for the cod, and that'll see us through the winter months up to March. You're straight back here. Yeah? Are you having a run there, Mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah.